Hello, thank you for joining me. You wandered to the right place. This is the Wanderer Broadcast. My name's Austin. I'll be your humble host. And today I wanted to make a video on Astrology 101, kind of dipping the toe in the water for people who would like to begin learning about themselves because astrology, especially your natal chart, is a crucial way to learn those things that are kind of unexplainable, that don't really make sense about yourself, that you're like, why am I like this? But it has to be explained somehow. Astrology is where you need to go. And um, I've started reading this book called Astrological Signatures by C.C. Zane. And it's the Brotherhood slash Church of Light. That's the organization. And it's actually a 24 book study so this is just the astrological signatures. It goes into occult symbolism, masonry, evolution of life. It's, it's amazing, amazing study. But I was inspired to kind of explain things for people who might be confused and how you can sort of start learning about yourself and researching your natal chart. So I'll add a link to astrotheme.com, which is what I commonly use and it's one of the best sites to look at your natal chart. You can screenshot it. It has the lines, the geometry, and you can see all the trines and different connections to the different houses. And it also describes each one, like your sun, moon sign, rising sign, mercury. You, you can like click on it and it'll explain it for you. But one big disclaimer is just to be careful with getting too emotionally invested into the little labels, little descriptions people use. It's because it is supposed to be taken as a grand puzzle. Each house plays into each other. It's not just like your sun sign is everything or your moon sign is everything. Everything does need to be taken into account. And that's something that I feel like a lot of people don't know or are confused with. So step one, according to Mr. Zane here, is learning the 12 different signs and the order according to the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. And that's when it all starts because spring, you know, life blossoms, it's the rebirth of a cycle. And I'll add a picture with the order of the zodiac there. And it's important to know the order and also the elements behind them. So water, fire, air, earth, because let's say I, for example, I am, my sun sign is Capricorn, my moon sign is Cancer, and my ascendant is also Cancer. So Capricorn is Earth, Cancer is water. So I have a lot, I have Earth and water energy kind of as my direct three, but you have to take the whole chart into account. So I can't jump to any conclusions just from those three, but just that alone helps so much. And that's kind of why I'm doing a little 101, not, nothing too crazy, but um, something I wanted to kind of go over is the sun, moon, and ascendant sign, because the sun is basically the vital energy that emanates from you, sort of the highest, highest will towards your highest growth, and it's basically like the highest potential for you, according to your sun, and something that confused me in the past. I thought the sun might have been everything. You know, it's like you think the sun, because when someone asks you the your sign, that'll be your sun sign. But the that's kind of just the primary vital pot, uh, masculine energy. The moon sign is feminine. So it's the negative, sun positive, moon negative, masculine, feminine. And the moon is your emotional body, sort of like your subconscious, what you hide from people. It's sort of more like the I feel, the intuit, intuitive side of you. While the ascendant sign is your personality. So that's actually your social self, what you reflect to society. And that's something that changes a lot because once you find those three signs, it's like, wow, there's so many different degrees to myself than I thought. And that's just the beginning of a baby don't like I'm still learning a lot I have so much to learn but I felt very compelled to share this um, this teaching this book I highly encourage you guys to read this book because it is a study 
or, but it explains it beautifully. Like if you're trying to get your beak wet, it like he tells you learn the signs, learn the order. The next step is tarot. He says that tarot is astrology and tarot are the two keys, the golden key and the silver key. So tarot I've kind of dipped into. I would love to learn more about it, but I digress. Um, something else I wanted to go into was the houses themselves. So around your natal chart, you'll see numbers 1 through 12, and those are the houses. So they aren't the same as the signs. So like you can have Aries as one of the signs. You can have Aries in your first house, which the first house is your pers or your yep, your personality, your health, your physical body. So for example, my first house is in Cancer and the Cancer is the crab. I don't know if you think I look like a crab at all, but um, I do have a Capricorn sun, goat. I kind of have that goat tea, but the Cancer is like crab, side to side, quick movements, got the claws, strong hands, um, strong hand joints, grip strength. And personality wise, it's the cautious, kind of a cautious crab, like you want to see what's good before committing. Um, yet they are hospitable, so they're the homebody, they are the host. But um, like I said, you have to take the whole chart into account because it, you can't sort of grip too tightly onto those little things. You have to take it all into account. So there are, so the, the different houses, such as the first house being personality, health, your physical body, all the other houses have sort of mundane, generalized meanings, but it's all, it's like a fingerprint. It's specific to you. And you can see, like, look up eighth house in Virgo, if that applies to you. And you can see where that kind of plays in your whole chart. So it's, it's very interesting. And I'll probably come out with a video soon about kind of going deeper into it, another layer explaining the elements, the water, fire, earth, air, and the mutable fixed signs, what those really mean. But I kind of just wanted to scratch the service today and provide an Astro theme link so you guys can start looking up your sh charts and screenshotting them and sort of looking up what what's in each of your houses and what they mean for you. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and love ya.